What up, YouTube? Back at it again. We are pulling apart the Mustang's motor. It, well, I broke four valve springs, but then I ordered the BTR stage four. Yeah, the stage four kit. I got new push rods, new valve springs, and the new cam. I already did the trunning upgrade when I built the motor the first go around. So it'll be good for this. We started pouring, pulling it down last night. Got a good ways. I'm jacking it up now, dropping the exhaust all the way loose so I can get to the head bolts and knock them loose. Once I knock those loose, I'm gonna pull the timing cover off and pull this cam out. Hopefully I did not hit a piston at all when that valve spring broke, but we'll see once I get the head off. So I'm gonna keep rolling at that and get back to it. All right, I got both heads off the car. This is the driver's side head and everything looks fine on it. I'm gonna clean up all the old head gasket material left over, which it was a three piece MLS head gasket when I put it together. Go ahead and clean that up. This is the head that was on the driver's side. I can't see no damage to any of the valves if it ever did hit or anything. So I'm assuming it's rarely, well, it's good. I'm still gonna probably lap and the valves again on this head. I don't see anything else that was any really issue, but it did tap the top of the piston. Barely though, I mean, it, it ain't much of a nick. I could rub it with my fingernail a little bit. It might not even be more than a millimeter, but I just pulled all the lifters out, put those in a jar. Both. This passenger, well, well, not this passenger side, just driver's side. Let them keep soaking in oil. Don't hurt them. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull the front timing cover off. I might pull my alternator off, which it might not be in the way. Might. We'll see, though. And pull the crank off. Or the crank pulley. So, get back to it and show you all the progress in a few. Oh, yeah, I'm more done to the car. I got the whole front bumper off. Sadly, when I pulled it off this time, the front piece that holds it up finally cracked, but the thing's been trashed on this car for a while, so definitely a good excuse to go ahead and buy a front new. I don't even know what that piece is really called. But I gotta buy that new, which is good, you know. <laughs> it's been held together with zip ties and shit for the longest, but that ain't too bad. But I got the front timing cover off, I got the crank off, or crank pulley off. That was a pain in the butt. My pulley that I have sucks. But <clears throat> pull the oil pump off in just a second. And then pull the timing chain off. Hopefully I can get by. Ooh. Yeah, hopefully I can get by with that oil pump right there. I'm hoping. But we'll see. Yeah, but just got the radiator fan sitting back for right now. Get the oil cooler sitting down. I kind of made a custom mount for it with little zip ties. It just holds it up and keeps it in front of the fan. Well, we're getting more into deeper teardown. I figured I gotta drop the oil pan to get the front thing off. And as I'm draining the oil now, she is sparkling. So I think something in the motor is internally hurt. So I'm probably just gonna pull it all out the car, go through everything, just make sure everything's safe. That would suck if something else is really hurt, but we'll figure it out. There was another update as I'm tearing it apart. And then I also broke something in the front right here. But, not going the way I want it to, but we'll get it there. Well, I've been getting good progress going, besides making a mess everywhere. But, no, I guess that's just a part of it. I took the passenger side header out and got further down. I'm just going to pull the motor and trans all at once. I already got the drive shaft out the way. And I capped the back of the transmission because I'm not draining it. I drained the oil in the car already. Just slowly working along. I moved all the wires out the way, disconnected it. So I wouldn't get caught up on it, anything. I still need to take that vacuum hose and just tuck it up real quick. And I'm debating if I want to take the mount off here or just take it off there. I'm probably just going to take it off there. I think I'll be fine with leaving the transmission cross member in. And just bring it forward because i feel like i got plenty of room you know i got everything out the way even the front bumper just to pull the motor out 
this is just going to be good causes and then it gives me a good excuse to go ahead and put a new output shaft seal on the transmission and that input seal because the trans does leak a little bit not much but just to go around it and then underneath of the car is like filthy so i'm gonna just power wash it and clean it up really really good for the next go around i might mean that racing season's really over i might go ahead and cut it in tuber chassis to well tube the front end for it and it'll lighten the car up and give it more space it might happen might not but i'll figure it out and i'll get back to y'all with more well, it's been a couple days since I worked on the car. I did pull the motor and trans out of it. I need to roll the car out, power wash it. it might get done, might not. Who knows? Did find some debris. Don't mind the trans fluid. I accidentally spilled that on top, but a little debris-ish in the oil pan. I think it's good. Checked a couple bearings. I just retorqued the motor down. I think it'll be fine. I'm going to send it anyway. So I'm putting it back together. I bought the gaskets putting the camera retainer plate on, twerking everything down. It's a slow grind progress. Hopefully I get it done very soon and back out to playing. But we'll see. And I'll just keep trucking along. Started working on the heads slowly, disassembling them. Disassembled the passenger side head, the one where the valve touched the piston, which I labeled all of them which way they go. Yeah, this is the one that touched the piston. So far, I don't even think it's really... Might be bent. I don't know. I can't tell yet. But I'll figure it out if it's bent or not. I pulled all the valve seats out. Because in the BTR kit, they give you brand new valve seats that you have to use for the dual valve springs. Which the heads, I found out, guys, also leaks. I might port and polish the heads. Being that I'm already right here. I'll go ahead and port them. I mean, it would just be easy to do so now. And then I might mess with the intake. I might not. Probably not going to mess with the intake, really. But I'll probably port, port the exhaust ports on it and open it up a little bit. I'm kind of not rushing right now because it's just, it is what it is. Tomorrow it'd be too cold to even try to get to the track if I even rushed it tonight. But I ain't going to get the head gasket and the part storage probably closed because it's like 9 o'clock right now. Um, but I'm slowly working on it. And getting it done. Well, I already started putting the motor back together now. Got the cam gear on. I got everything in the bottom end retorqued. Good to go. I'm sending this thing. So, it's like day five of me doing this. And getting it going. Well, I'm going to get back to it and keep updating you. Alright. Got the lifters in. Lifter trays in. Got the timer cover on. Got the oil pan on. I'm about to install the head studs. I made sure I, I did pull it apart. I soaked each lifters, one in passenger side, one in the driver side. That way they were on the same side. <clears throat> you can see I got a dumper wheel down it. I run Rotella diesel in this thing. Thick oil and it's always been pretty good for most of my motors. But we'll get back at it and get the head installed and Get it all torqued down and then put the motor and transmission together and send I started it. lapping the valves. I got this right. This should have been the head that actually had that bent valve in it. Well, I don't know if the valve was really bent, but I replaced it. Just go ahead because that's the one that touched the piston. I'm installing the new valve seals from BTR. And I'm about to put valve springs on this head. And then I'm going to lap all the valves in this head and do the same process. We are getting to it slowly. I just bought the head gaskets today. Where did I sit them? Just bought them from the parts store. I mean, I don't think it's really going to matter on head gasket too much on this car because I will spray it with nitrous. But who knows? I put all the head studs in just so I didn't lose nothing. I you know, don't, don't want the chance of losing anything. So I put that in. I should take the car out and power wash the bay. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but... If I get it done within time and still got daylight, I'll probably power wash it. But if not, oh well, I'm going to send it. I was going to port the heads, but I'm like, ah, oh, never mind. I'll just buy some good heads, save up the money, and just buy the good heads. But I'm still steady work on it. And show you all the Well, it runs again.
car for its first drive in a minute and it seems to be doing really well i gotta put the front bumper back on and all that stuff but i mean i did change the converter and now she seems very stout i think she's gonna be a lot quicker this time hopefully she'll make a good lick on the street and we'll keep at it well thanks for watching guys i know this is a processed video i mean i only filmed a little bit of it not everything the car is back up and running i'll have a video more videos to come on it at least it's back up and running i mean no more problems oil pressure's reading fine might do an oil change here soon just to clean up everything to health make sure no metal is still left in it at all but i think she's right i think it's finally set good might have to upgrade a carburetor but we'll see how it goes but thanks for watching again and slick rick 1217